What's up everybody? It is Cam here on this beautiful Saturday afternoon and today I am doing a lot of projects but this one I'm going to basically just be adding litter and stuff to the chicken coop. I'll kind of show you what it looks like inside. We broke out the tractor today because the ground was solid enough for us to actually drive it around a little bit without tearing stuff up. By the way, if you're interested in coyote tractors, I don't see a lot of stuff on YouTube about these tractors, but they're awesome. So if you're interested in finding out about that, I'll be happy to do a review video on the coyote because that thing has been great since we've had it. Um, but essentially, I dumped a whole bunch of wood chips out here. Now, something we've been having issues with, and look, they are so excited about these wood chips. Something that we have been having issues with is our eggs getting dirty again because of dirt. Like basically, since they're not being moved around like our regular coop during the winter, this greenhouse is in one spot. And even though we're moving the fence, the doorway is super freaking muddy. So when they come in and out, if they go, if they come from outside straight to a nesting box, the issue is, is that they get mud all over the daggone eggs. So first off, we're going to be adding all kinds of wood chips outside the entrance and hopefully that will knock down some of the mud and stuff that they're tracking in and getting all of our eggs. And then you can see, which I've already added litter to this probably two or three times, but you can see it's starting to look real dried up in here and like solid, which means that there's a nice solid sheet of poop in there that we're going to be burying with more wood chips piling it up in here. This is going to be great compost down the road, um, but basically going to start shoveling this stuff in here, get it all spread out, get this chicken coop looking good, and we might even make some modification to these nesting boxes. Alrighty, we got the wood chips down outside the door. Hopefully that mitigates the mud. And now we're going to take out their nesting boxes real quick, get everything cleaned up, and then spread it all out and get it nice and fresh in here. It is getting hot. So it really sucks doing this inside a greenhouse. It might be freaking 30 degrees outside, but in there it's like 60. It is hot even with this door open. Um, obviously I'm shoveling and raking. So we're about halfway through and I'm gonna get probably maybe a bucket or two more um, with the tractor real quick and get it over here. That way I get good deep bedding in there. Just adding a thin layer and spreading it real thin isn't gonna do me any good if they're just gonna scrape it all up. Um, and it not be worth a dang anymore. So going to get a couple more buckets, thicken it up in here, and then we should be squared away with getting these all cleaned up. I'll make those uh, bucket modifications to get the buckets back in here. I actually think I'm going to make this separate video for the nesting boxes because that's going to take some time. And I mainly just wanted to show in this video how we're going to help with getting the mud out of our coop and the issue we're having with getting eggs just covered in mud. And we're not talking about eggs covered in poop. We are talking about eggs covered in mud. <laughs> Poop's not an issue. They don't sleep in the nesting boxes and it doesn't seem to be an issue, but on those really rainy days, our eggs are definitely far dirtier than normal. So hopefully this helps. Let's get it squared away. It's looking finer in the frog hair in here. Chickens are happy. They absolutely love when we put fresh bedding in and they love when we move them to new grass. Um, so they're gonna be happy in here, scratching around happy out there outside the doorway. Hopefully this mitigates the mud that we're having um, coming in and out of the coop um, since this door area just gets so daggone muddy and the chickens will be happy. I'll be happy with some clean eggs and we'll keep doing this because this is gonna end up turning into some really awesome compost. I'm gonna just get out of this wind. I know it's loud, um, but this is gonna turn into great compost down the road for us in this coop. Um, and once we move these chickens out, we're actually gonna end up moving some pullets in. So be looking at for that video in the future. Um, we have a, we got another 75 layers. I might secretly get a couple more, um, who knows? We'll find out. I think I want more than 75 more layers. Um, but we're going to be raising those here soon. So be looking out for that video and we'll use this greenhouse as like a halfway house between going to our main movable coop out there. Um, and that is where they will spend the summer once we move the pullets from there to the main coop. So be looking out for that. 
and be checking out our next video, which is gonna be modifying these bucket nesting boxes just to improve them, make it more comfortable for the chickens. And hopefully, maybe that'll help our muddy solution as well. You all have a good one. Like and subscribe to the channel. And we look forward to continuing to show you this operation we have going. We have a whole lot of stuff coming up this year. This is our first big year. And we're gonna have a crap ton of videos of us making a whole lot of mistakes. So look forward to it. Have a good one.